This mindset in America, in the Western world, is a sickness. It is deviant, and we do not want it. Eh? I'd like to take a minute to discuss the harsh reality that black content creators face. I recently lost out on a five-figure brand deal for posting this picture with this caption. Nowhere in the contract were there any stipulations given around what kind of content I could post, except for the branded content, which would be approved by the company. After posting that picture and posting that caption, I received a phone call from my agent saying that the company thought it was inappropriate. When I read that caption, I read a playful articulation of the love I have for my man. Yet again, when I look at this picture, I see playfulness. I see a black girl living her best life, having fun. There's nothing inappropriate about it to me, especially not in the world we live in today. For centuries, black women's bodies have been scrutinized. They've been picked apart. They've been deemed unworthy. They've been deemed inappropriate. And this is yet again an extension of that rhetoric. It's the hypersexualization of the black female body. Okay, you said a lot of things that were right. I mean, your contract never stipulated anything about that. Uh, you don't find it inappropriate, but they do. Now, I'm going to give you that one, though. Black women have been, uh, <clears throat> they have been stigmatized with their bodies and stuff like that. But where you lost me is where you talk about over sexualizing. It's a booty pick. In a net, you look like a whole bag of oranges, delicious oranges, though. But that's your booty being out. I mean, we can see the puny print, y'all hear? Between the legs, you hear that? Whenever you talk about the over-sexualization of the female body, that's you. That's not them. That's not me. I didn't put you in those fishnets. I mean, half of the picture is your booty. And I'm not mad at it. whoop de woo But when you say that, oh yeah, it's because of that. Mmm, the argument is a bit soft. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hey man, I, I just think people are allergic to accountability. Motherfuckers can be out here with their whole balls hanging out, they goddamn boxers walking around the streets. This ain't outrageous. All I see is body parts taking some fresh air. You gotta air it out. When I read that caption, I read a playful articulation of the love I have for my man. You wanna show appreciation for your boyfriend? Send him a picture in private. <laughs> What the fuck does the internet have to do with your appreciation for your boyfriend? <laughs> Nigga, are you dating Instagram? <laughs> uh, are you in a committed relationship with It's Complicated? Is Instagram? <laughs> what? Are you so deep in the metaverse? <laughs> you, you fucking somebody in VR? What's going on? Oh, uh, no, 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 but this is a hundred zero, zero accountability. 100%. This is a Facebook post. I would just like to take this time to uh, uh, wish happy birthday to my boyfriend. Like, I love you. I really appreciate you. You're the best. And You were in the same bed this morning. You're going to go to the same bed at night. Talk to your boyfriend. There's some motherfuckers that make posts about motherfuckers that don't even have Facebook or Instagram or social media. You know what I mean? But I understand why they say it's a flex. You're flexing your relationship. You're not saying happy birthday or this. You're flexing you're still with the motherfucker. That's no, what you're doing. No, no. That motherfucker got a phone. Send him the picture. I appreciate you. Here's your booty pic. No, you're flexing. The only way someone else could deem this as inappropriate is if they projected their sexual desires onto me. If you decide to leave the home eh, and you have made an effort eh, to dress in a manner that would indicate that you are uh, how, 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 how should I say this? If you are taking the time to uh, dress in a manner that says that you are a uh, homeless, yeah, eh? okay, yeah, yeah, you, you, you have dirt all over your clothes, eh? you are sleeping on the sidewalk, yeah, yeah, fine. And then I come to you and I say, sir, can I help you? And you go, oh, my friend, <laughs> for what reason do I look like I need help? Yeah, it's like it's like a, a good ana analogy that I don't even know remember who said that. No, no, like if I dress like a cop. If I dress like a cop, I can't be mad that people ask me for help. Yes, yes. I'm the one who told you this one. <laughs> the, the knowledge has entered your cranium finally. <laughs> yeah, repeating the words that I've said to me that, as what if you got someone that? else No, because I heard, I heard a comedian, and it's, it was not <laughs> you, nigga. Well, I, I'm quite certain I'm a comedian. <laughs> Every day I spread the knowledge with a laugh. Yeah, it was not you. It, it, it was me. No, you took it from somewhere. Yeah, you're accusing me of theft after you have stolen from me? 
No, I, I, <laughs> you I are, said you are, was, no. you are you are truly impressive. Huh? You have engaged in plagiarism no. by plagiarizing me. No, because I said you have no, accused me no, of plagiarism. No, because I mentioned it was not me. I've discovered. I something. mentioned. I mentioned it was not me. You are also incapable of accountability. Eh? No, I am. I it's, said it was okay. not me. It's okay. It's okay. Eh? This is the Western world. <laughs> they come here. They say, "Eh, I'll take your money, <laughs> but I don't want to pay tax." <laughs> this one he's going to jail for sure. Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to jail. <laughs> you are going to jail. My friend. You're you the one to... that doing the thing. Uh -huh. What the fuck is going on? You're yeah, receiving yeah. calls. Yeah. My, yes. My, yes. My, my. It is the police. <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> you are going to jail. <laughs> you are avoiding accountability. <laughs> so, we are looking at this one. Huh? She say, oh, you are looking at me. You are projecting your sexuality. Oh, my friend, you have projected your sexuality onto my eyes. <laughs> you are the one who has decided to live in your underwear and then projected your skin onto my vision. <laughs> I did not leave and then imagine you doing something. You have done it and I have seen you doing it and then you are mad at me for seeing you doing it. And then when I say you have done it, you are say, ha, the papaya, look at this one. He is a shameful individual. For what reason? I have simply left my abode and observed the world and you are upset at me for what you have made me observe. <laughs> you have told me that I am ugly. I have been upset by the fact that you have said I am ugly and then you are saying I'm projecting my negative, negative feelings on you. <laughs> this mindset in America, in the Western world, is a sickness. It is deviant and we do not want it. <laughs> This is why I'm going to return to Africa. We are going to enjoy the good fruit. Eh? Because these women here, <laughs> they are lost. They are so lost. Look at this one. She has left the home. Eh? She has taken off her shirt. Look, look, she, she took it off. And she has said, for what reason are you looking at my, at my titties? At my chest? Look, it is my nipple. For what reason? You are projecting your eyesight onto me. Ah, Zapapaya! No, 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 no. I'm so tired. <laughs> No, my friends, we are going to, we are, we are going to have a conversation. We are going to have a... I heard someone knocking at the door. It is a police. He are going to jail. <laughs> he, is, he is going to jail, this one. It's been generally agreed upon by the black community for decades that the N-word isn't derogatory. It's a term of endearment. If you want to use the N-word, congratulations. There's plenty of black people who won't want to work with you because you use the N-word. Oh yeah, there's plenty of black this people. This whole idea, like it's a term of endearment, that's between you and some black folks. A lot of other black folks disagree. There's, a lot there's of folks who say, I, I, I will not support what you do because you say, nigga. But we, and you know what but I we say? we have that in our... Oh, you know what I say? What'd you say? Cool. Fine. I'm mad at you. Yeah. You're entitled to your opinion. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get mad at a company who don't want to work with me for the same reason? Why? I use the word and I accept the responsibility and the consequences that come with it. Accountability, what's that? When people say, I want to subscribe to you, know what I, you know what I don't say? I'm just showing appreciation to my nigga. Pause. Nah, super if I get commissioned by a suit company, right? Mm -hmm. They're talking about, Abba, well, listen, we like your style. We want you to come on and, and, and fashion some of these suits, five figure deal. I'm like, great. The next day, I'm out here popping bottles with bitches in, in, in Instagram videos, blinged out, gold chain. They may not think that my brand is going to benefit their brand. And so they don't want the association between those two things. Even if it's not written in the contract, by the way. That's it. Right? If you want to be a preppy motherfucker, some rap labels won't want to fuck with you. They say you're too corny. That happens. It's like motherfuckers want to get up here and do anything. Mm -hmm. And then have everyone be, yes, queen. You, you say... Yet again, when I look at this picture, I see playfulness. I see a black girl living her best life. Oh, go, go, go live your best life. Mine is these five figures. And you know, there have been people that don't want to mess with us. People that don't want to be. Yeah, yeah there's, there's been that. Yeah. People in our DMs dropping, I really don't appreciate in the comments. In the, in the DMs and in the comments, I don't really appreciate you using that. They say that to us. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that we lost opportunities and people don't come to us with, with uh, advertisement and stuff like that. We, we lose out on advertisement. We do. We do because we don't want to budge. We don't want to ban. We don't want to do this and that and the third. We live our best life, but we live with the consequences. We've lost homies. We've lost work opportunities. We've lost uh, collapse. You want to talk about homies we lost? Well, I mean, you especially. Jesus. You know, my circle Christ. been tight. Fine, but it's fine. But, it's, but I live with the consequences. And I understand that what I did, what I did is... No, I didn't do like... And I can explain to that person, I did that not because of how you see it, but because of how I see it. We agree to disagree, and we part ways, and it's all good. It's all good, motherfuckers. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's all good. But you have, 
you you just lost me at opera sexuality and I was like, no, that's you. You did that. And no, it's really funny what she you lost me before. Yeah, I know. No, I she saw, lost me. Oh no, 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 no. I saw your face. I was I was giving it time. Because I know there was something that was about to come. But I know she lost she lost you before. I know I understand You wanna that. know why she lost me before? Go ahead. Cause once I seen the picture, I'm like, yeah, I could see companies not wanting to work with you. Yeah. So once you start prattling off and crying about the fact that like, oh my god, uh systemic No, it, don't bring people's plight into your own bad decisions. You know what I mean? A motherfucker want to go and smack somebody in the face and talk about, well, due to systemic racism, the way I've learned to engage with other people's conversations to punch them. No, bitch. I, I you just made a bad decision. Don't put that on black people. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's you. You cannot please everybody. Nope. You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. You want to have all that freedom? It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's absolutely going to come with motherfuckers not liking you. And that's why when I walk in the street and you come say, what's up? Start with, hey, what's up, preach? I like what you do. Because I don't know what you want. And I'm going to be on guard. Right? I don't know what you want. Because there's motherfuckers that, out there that don't like what we do. They hate what we do. And you know what? It's fine. Because as much liberty as I have, they have too. And these people don't have the liberty not to want to work. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. To, Are we really sitting here? I, yeah. I'm just curious. This is my mama. Okay. A girl posts a picture of herself in a nice dress. Yeah. Cool. All right. A girl sits there. A ass bent over, crotch facing the camera, her head in the background. Take whatever picture you want. I don't care. My, my point being, I think some people are just completely oblivious to how they come across to other people when they do in these pictures. Hmm. People are going to look at you and be like, yeah, you know, you on your thought shit. Doesn't mean it's true. Doesn't mean it's not. But that's how they're going to interpret that picture. Yeah. When you're out here with your crotch facing the camera and fucking fishnets and your thong, how is anybody supposed to look at you and say, that don't look a little bit tactless? That don't look a little bit thirst trappy, right? It's thirst trappy, all right. It's, it, it's, it's more than just thirst trappy. I'm trying to be polite, nigga. Keep I'm on. not. I'm not. That's my point. I think people need to be told what I'm it is. I'm trying to please everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they need to know. Because I think there's women out here who are delusioned about how it is. Like, try go, to... Go try, hold up. Let me, let me ask you. Do you guys really think mm. you can work in a professional setting and do that? White or black. Is it that what's considered appropriate or professional is always adjacent to whiteness? You want the activist part of me that's articulate and intelligent, but that's just one side of my black girl magic. But that's just one side of my black girl magic. Because the other side of me knows how to turn up and throw this ass. And that's what I'm going to do. We don't have to separate who we are in order to please these companies. We don't have to erase or hide any aspect of our personality. And you don't have to separate who you are. But not everybody's gonna deal with you. It's it's okay. But I feel like there's a little bit of undertone of you being mad, be you being mad because you lost the money. And I can understand it's it's whack to lose money, the potential money because you already saw where you would have planned it. But yeah, let me say this: some of you motherfuckers need a diary. Some of you guys need to go up to your friends if you want to shake your ass, shake your ass with them. Not everybody gotta be for the internet. I got a different side to me offline that I don't share with everyone else. Guess what? If I showed it to everyone else, maybe not everyone would love it. You're allowed to keep things for yourself. There's plenty of women who are out here being classy to some degree and behind closed doors, they get freaky and nasty with it. You don't have to show everything to everyone. Hey man, I got a big dick, but they don't, they need to know all the sides of me. Dick include, no. It's like, just because you got it, don't mean you got to flaunt it. And if you decide to flaunt all aspects of you, don't be mad when some people are like, I actually didn't like that part of you. I, I think that people mm. have misunderstood the whole concept of like being authentic online. Being authentic online does not mean that you share every part of yourself unreserved. That's not what it means. It means that the parts of you that you do share, you share that in a way that really represents who you are. That's 